Hello and welcome to Off the Cuff. Our guest today is not just Hindi cinema's young star, but also somebody who is very candid and very entrepreneurial at this age. Uh, Anushka Sharma, welcome to Off the Cuff. Thank you. Thank you for having how, me. How wonderful to have you on this show. And uh, Anushka, to, to help me in this conversation, I have uh, Ruhi Tiwari, who is our associate welcome. editor with the print. Uh, so she's the one who will backstop me because huh, it, uh, if you get like some facts wrong, <laughs> like if you say the wrong names of my film, I will not pass a GK test on <laughs> Hindi cinema beyond the seventies. But right? you told me you did Google. You told Google me. here helpline. Yeah. So she's my helpline. <laughs> so she's my Google. Good old Google. So uh, Anushka, what's occupying your mind right now? Blank. Blank. So what happens between two big hits? A lot of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> and as if hits are not happiness. What hits? Film hits. Film Hit hits. films. Yeah, that what? is happiness. Yeah, that's what I said. So what happens between the hits? I think uh, to just elaborate that, that what I'm saying, um, you know, we have to wait really long as actors to show our final product, which is a film, and to get feedback because obviously the feedback that people give us is ultimately what is going to um, satisfy us. So I think that time is a long time. So when finally a film does well, it is the most amazing feeling. Um, and I've been very fortunate that this year I've, um, I've done two films. Two of my films are released. Um, Sultan and Edil Hai Mushkil, for your reference. Um, and uh, yeah, and they've done really good business. And I mean, I, I, I've been appreciated. My performances uh, have been appreciated in two films where I've played very distinctly different characters. Right. So it's been a good year. I mean, I feel, I feel very um, happy. I've also produced a film this year. So I mean, it's been mental, but I've enjoyed it. I'm happy. I think I'm doing what uh, I'd like to. So Anishka, not only have you had a good year, you've actually in a way had a dream career. Uh, you were launched by Yashraj movies, which is opposite Shah Rukh Khan, which is really the best anybody can ask for. Your second movie was a hit. It was a great film. Everybody still loves to watch it. What have been the highlights of your career since you were you know, launched by uh, Yashraj? See, actually, that's, that's the thing. My first release, what you call my second release, actually is not my second release. Right. It was, um, you signed it was my it first. third release. Oh, really? Band Baja Bharat. Right. I, I, you were right. referring to Band right. Baja Bharat, right. right? Yeah, so that's my third release actually. But yes, people don't remember my second release, which is for good reasons. Was it Ladies versus uh, Ricky Behel? <laughs> no, it was something else. It was called Badmash Kampli. Oh, okay of course, with Shahid Kapoor. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so the thing is, I mean, you know, I obviously had a dream launch. I mean, I am not an industry kid. My, pair, my father was in the army. I've lived in a very sheltered army, containment all my life. I come from a very middle class background. I don't even have a friend who's anyway associated with films, you know. So it was obviously a big deal. Um, and then to be launched in the way that I was, opposite Shah Rukh Khan, and most importantly, being directed by Aditya Chopra and being produced by Yash Chopra, you know. So it's, it doesn't get better than that. And w when the film released, I mean, I obviously had a lot of expectations and, you know, I. I mean, I don't know, I thought like the world's going to be at my feet, you know, because that's what you think when you're like 20 years old, you're like, of course I can do anything. But um, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't that, I mean, the response wasn't that much, you know, so I feel like um, um, maybe I was expecting too much, but there was a lull period, which is why I guess you could not even uh, you know, remember. Company. Yeah, so, so this, my second film came a little later. Right. So that lull period was actually good. I think it kind of made me more stable headed. But yeah. how did you take this change from uh, not being a part of the film industry at all? As you mm -hmm. said, you didn't have anybody in the film industry. To suddenly coming into the limelight where your personal lives are exposed, where whatever you do is highlighted by the media. How did that work out for you emotionally? You know, the thing is, if you were dreaming all your life to become an actor, I think you would have been well equipped to, um, to deal with fame and to, to deal with people's interest in you. But I think since I was never working towards becoming an actor, I, was, I never thought it was a possibility. So I'm a very practical person. I thought it's obviously not going to happen. So I never thought about it. But when you do end up reaching here, and, and the way that I did, uh, it was a lot to take You know, for me. I think for the first couple of years, I was just feeling very overwhelmed. I used to get very frightened when people used to come and ask me for autographs and wanted to take selfies. And you know, I used to be like, 
how do i react what should my mannerism be how how are stars supposed to behave has stardom changed you personally as a person see i'm not i'm not that person who thinks are mai golgappe nahi kha sakti and all that Ab, no, i don't really want to eat golgappas on the road i have no interest i never had any interest even earlier i think you mature very early because you're dealing with so much more i know that i could not connect with my friends who were in college you know who were still in college and i felt like i couldn't connect with them in, in the way that i they would i found their conversations very frivolous and you know i mean it was all of that so i think you i grew up in the industry like i acquired whatever i however i think however however i am um with my experiences in the industry and i think it's the best place you know it really, really teaches you i treat it as a school this industry i really do i really treat it, treat it as a school and uh, the people in the industry as my gurus coming from there i feel like there's so much to learn here because you meet all kinds of people there's a good side and there's a bad side as is with everything and uh, it gave i think it i'm more level headed and more humble than i was i think i'm not as cocky as i used to be when i was a teenager you talked about good side and bad side yeah uh, tell us a few instances of the good side that you discovered and the bad side that you discovered see so, you not know, that phase that i was talking about those couple of first couple of years in the in the industry i mean i didn't know what to do i didn't know what films to sign a lot of people would tell me a lot of things like sign more movies you know you have to be seen all the time out of sight is out of mind and all that and somehow i just couldn't relate to that i could not understand that and I, it's not something that that i felt like i needed to do but you're so impressionable at that time right so you you second guess yourself because all these experienced people are talking about us you feel like yeah maybe i should listen to them but somehow didn't sit well with me but what happened was with my third film band baja barat which was something i think that's the film that actually is a huge turning point in my career so that's a film with a first time director and a new actor um and that's the film that got me the you know the first sort of acceptance and success that i was hoping for so i feel like i did what i thought was right you know um and uh, i saw after that i saw people change like suddenly i was being called to all parties and i was being invited everywhere and people wanted to talk to me and all and i felt like okay so i got a reality check i was like okay so this is how this place functions so if you're doing well everything is going good people you know will be nice to you and if you're not doing well it doesn't really matter so i've become that person who i just focus on just doing well and i'm not thinking out of sight is out of mind and all that rubbish i think only your films are you know ultimately it's that that that's what matters you know anushka there is this impression that people outside the industry get that there are camps in the industry and you have to be part of either this camp or that camp do you think that's true are you part of any camp no i mean obviously if you look at my career uh, i've worked with everybody i've worked with all the khans and i've worked with the you know the newer actors ranveer singh ranveer kapoor and and uh, you know shahid so i i don't i don't belong to any camp and i guess my career is testament to that you know because um, we yeah, are because i work with everybody and i have had good relations with everyone so i don't belong to any camp you've you know. been directed by both aditya chopra and karan johar yeah. so that's a dream uh, career for yeah, most people yeah i would love to be in the camp of like all these directors that's <laughs> the camp i really want to be in but you are the producer now <clears throat> that's the reason i called you an entrepreneur she produced one of my favorite films nh10 you producing one more now isn't it yeah which is a bit different from that one yeah so it's not as serious as nh10 was nh10 was a film that i don't think everyone could watch i i went right. to the theaters and there were people like closing their eyes and watching the film and most of them were men let me tell you that <laughs> so that was like i was like <laughs> but uh, yeah philori is a, a, a more accessible film but a film like <coughs> nh10 which was very tough very raw very violent uh and you had a negative positive role yeah uh, so all the men who were watching that film saw you bashing up so many men yeah and bashing up not a little bit yeah right? <laughs> like killing like killing yeah. <laughs> ba- bashing up almost like the guy in that what what amir film gajni, gajni right yes, uh, yeah. just bashing to people. death so what makes somebody <laughs> at your age uh, i mean you were obviously 3 years younger than even this when you started on that right yeah, yeah. Uh, what makes someone like you uh, who's in mainstream cinema who's a big star take on a story like that because that story has commercial limitations also i think ultimately that is what actors want you know that you're only going to get that respect that you desire 
with your uh, performances, which means you have to have good films and good roles for it. So it for me it was like I lapped it up when it uh, when it came my way because uh, I saw the potential in it. Ultimately, um, you know you you have to just go by your instincts. All my career, my entire career has been just based on my instincts, and that's what I've done. And I didn't think I was taking some really bold step or anything like that. I thought it was a very normal thing to do. Um, it was a film I loved, and it was a film I thought was going to make a mark, and and it did. So I guess it's just you know, it's just decisions. Yeah. So this off the cuff is just warming up. We'll take a short break, and we'll be right back with you. Don't go away. <laughs>